everybody, it's JT Sports Match, you guys, with another video. In this video, I'm here with my AFC Championship game preview and prediction. Before I get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel because I upload NFL videos and college football videos daily. So, in this game, we have the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Tennessee Titans. Now, before I dive in too further, I just have to get this off my chest. If you're a Kansas City Chiefs fan and you think that you're just going to roll over the Tennessee Titans and you have an uh, automatic ticket punched into the Super Bowl, um, it's two things I have to say. Either one, you haven't been watching the playoffs, and two, you're either too biased or you're just ignorant. And that's why I'm just going to leave it at that because, look, the New England Patriots said they were going to beat Tennessee. Look what happened. Tennessee went on the road in Foxborough. I don't care. How bad New England may be on the offense, I don't care if this isn't the same New England Patriots team we've seen in the past. I don't care if you go on the road and you win in New England in the playoffs, that means something, right? And then if you don't want to say that, okay, Tennessee went on the road and they beat Baltimore. Who everybody had as a favorite to go to the Super Bowl, right? With the future... MVP of the 2019 NFL season and Lamar Jackson. So Tennessee went into Baltimore and they smacked him in the mouth. And they didn't win a close game and it wasn't a fluke. They went in there and they imposed their will on Baltimore and they smacked him in the mouth and they blew out Baltimore. Really, I mean, I know Baltimore scored a couple of garbage time points, but let's be honest. Tennessee went into Baltimore, M&T Bank Stadium, and they beat down Baltimore. They smacked him right in the mouth. They stopped Lamar Jackson. They did something that no NFL team has been able to do all this season, stop and contain Lamar Jackson and his offense. And if you want to bring a how... Baltimore have 100 yards and all that. Listen, it's easy to run up the yards when you're down by like 20 points in multiple possessions. I think that's pretty much common sense. When you're when you're trying to get back into the ball game and you're down a lot of points, of course you're going to rack up a lot of yards and things like that. So if you're a Kansas City Chiefs fan, you're coming into the narrative that you're just going to come that Tennessee's going just going to come into Kansas City and you're just going to steamroll them. I, I think you have another thing coming for you because if you do win this game, it's going to be a close game and it's going to be hard fought. Because if Baltimore couldn't do it and New England couldn't do it, I don't think you're going to be able to do it. And I'm not taking anything away. I'm not saying that Kansas City isn't a good team or anything like that, but I'm just being real because this Tennessee Titans team reminds me a lot of those championship New York Giants teams, right? They may not look flashy. They may not have a lot of superstars on the roster. But one thing they are, they're tough, they're hard-nosed, and they're very good up front. And they play smash-mouth football. That's what this Tennessee Titans team of this season reminds me of. Those Super Bowl winning New York Giants teams. And even those New York Giants teams didn't come to the playoffs with the best of records. They even came into playoffs most of the time as underdogs. And they embraced that underdog mentality. And they ended up surprising the whole entire world and winning the Super Bowl. Now, if you're a Tennessee Titans fan, on the other hand, and you think that because you've been having a magical run in the playoffs, that that's going to be a reason why you beat Kansas City, I think that's not going to be the truth neither. I think that Kansas City is one of the best teams in all of football. They are one of the best teams in the AFC. And a lot of people had Kansas City being in this game to start the season. This is a talented team. And let me give you guys an example of how talented this Kansas City Chiefs team is. Because I know I've been raving about the Tennessee Titans for about the past almost four minutes. But also, I got to gloat about this Kansas City Chiefs team. This Kansas City Chiefs team turned the ball over, what, three times, got down 24-0 versus Houston, and still came back and put up. I think that should tell you how talented of a team this Kansas City Chiefs team is. They turned the ball over three times in the first quarter, were down 24-0, and still came back and dropped 50 on Houston. I don't think, if that doesn't tell you how talented Kansas City is as a team, then I don't know what to tell you. They were down 24-0 in the game, scoring 50 points. Nearly like, what, 50 on their so points they scored on, what, six straight possessions? So if that doesn't tell you how talented of a team that Kansas City is, I don't know what to tell you. So this is a very interesting game. We're basically seeing two of the best teams in the AFC, right? Now, I know a lot of you guys might not say Tennessee was the best team in the AFC, but... They have played like the best. They have played like one of the best teams in the AFC. They are hot at the right moment. This is a team that is really good up front, and they're really good running the football. Now, Kansas City's defense 
that secondary has been really good. Not just the secondary. This whole entire Kansas City Chiefs defense has been really impressive this whole entire season. This is a different Kansas City Chiefs defense that we've seen in the last couple of years. The defense we remember out of Kansas City is the defense that was always allowing teams to score in the last two minutes of games. So, this is a different Kansas City Chiefs team than what we're accustomed to seeing. Now, this is also... Uh, Tennessee Titans team that is unusually committed to running the football. It doesn't matter if they're down 20 or uh, up by 40. They're still going to run the football. I've never seen an NFL team in all my years watching college, not, not just the NFL, all my years watching football, I've never seen a team as committed to running the football as Tennessee is. They could be down multiple possessions and they're still going to run the football. They could be down three points with two minutes left. Right, going into halftime, and they will run a two-minute offense running the football. They did it against New England, and they did it against Baltimore, I believe. They ran a two-minute offense literally running the football. I'm not making this up. Go and watch the highlights. They ran the ball for a two-minute drill. I've never seen that in all my years watching football, a team that committed to running the football, that they ran a two-minute offense running the football. So this Tennessee Titans team is a really physical team. Derrick Henry is in discussion as one of the best running backs in the NFL. If you don't consider him the best running back in the NFL already, he is in that discussion. He is this heart and soul of this Tennessee Titans offense. So if you're in Kansas City, really, it seems easy, but you got to stop the run and you got to stop Derrick Henry. Now, most of the time that seems easy to do, but it hasn't been. The Baltimore Ravens couldn't do it, and the New England Patriots couldn't do it, and nobody so far over the last couple of months has been unable to stop Derrick Henry. So, I mean, it may look simple, it may sound simple, it may sound like it's easy to execute, but it's not going to be. Because Baltimore was one of the best teams in the NFL and stopped the run, and they couldn't stop Derrick Henry. New England, Bill Belichick, you... Tennessee out physical Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots. You don't normally see that a lot. New England getting out physical by another football team, right? Baltimore didn't get smashed in the mouth like they did versus Tennessee last week by any other NFL team all this season. They beat some of the best teams in the NFL. So if you're Kansas City, stopping Derrick Henry is easier said than done. Now if you're Tennessee, your defense has played really, really well. But you can argue and say that Tennessee hasn't faced the offense like Kansas City. Now, I know they played a couple of weeks ago. Um, and Tennessee pulled off the upset, right? But this is the playoffs. I'm not looking back at what happened in the regular season. The regular season and the postseason are two different animals. The Kansas City Chiefs are not the same team that they were when you played them a couple of weeks into the NFL season. Just like the Kansas City Chiefs. This is not the same Tennessee Titans team you played in the regular season when you lost to them. These two teams are completely different and a lot better than what they were when they last played in the regular season. So I'm not going back on what happened in the regular season. I'm looking at how good these two teams are right now. Now Tennessee... And the playoffs so far hasn't faced the offense like the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, I know you beat Baltimore, but Baltimore was the ultimate running football team. Now you're facing the ultimate offense, right? Kansas City, they can run the football, but they're very good throwing the football. That's what they are, a throwing football team. They can run the football, but this is a team that likes to spread the football around. They have a lot of big playmakers. You got Tyreek Hill. You got Travis Kelsey. You got Sammy Watkins. I mean, you have a lot of weapons on this Kansas City Chiefs offense that you're going to have to be able to game plan for and stop. And that's easier said than done. That's easier said than done, right? Because look, it's so hard to game plan when you have multiple weapons on the offense if you're Tennessee. You double-team Tyreek Hill, they just throw it to Travis Kelsey. You double-team Travis Kelsey and Tyreek Hill, they just throw it to Sammy Watkins. So it's really hard to stop this passing attack of Kansas City. Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback in the NFL right now, in my opinion. And I'm not going to debate with nobody in the comment section about it. So these two teams, this is a really interesting game. 
Tennessee's defense has proved a lot of people wrong. I told a lot of people last week that don't stop sleeping on this Tennessee Titans defense because I think Tennessee's defense is good enough to stop Lamar Jackson's Baltimore Ravens offense, right? And I say that Tennessee's defense could hold Baltimore to under 20 points. And a lot of people laughed at me. They said Baltimore hasn't been held to 20 points since God knows, since the, like, the second month of the NFL season, right? And what happened? Tennessee did it. So Tennessee's defense, I think, is more than capable of stepping up to the challenge of being able to slow down the Kansas City Chiefs offense. Now, Kansas City is probably still going to be able to score, right? But I don't think Kansas City is going to score 50 on, on Tennessee's defense like they did Houston. So the team now I'm going to win. This is really hard, right? But I'm going with Tennessee to win this game. Now, I know it's going to cause a lot of upset Kansas City Chiefs fans in the comment section. But look, this Tennessee Titans team reminds me a lot like those Super Bowl champion New York Giants teams. They might not have a lot of superstars, a lot of notable names. They may not, talent-wise, look like they match up with Kansas City. But they have heart. They're gritty. They're tough. They're really good up front. And they run the football. They're physical. Right? And they can throw the ball if they have to. So I'm taking Tennessee with the upset. I think Tennessee wins this game. 24 to 21 is my final score prediction for this game. So let me know who you guys have winning this game down in the comment section down below. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel for more NFL videos and content. And thanks for watching.